Well, oftentimes, medical challenges can keep kids from experiencing the world, but not Dylan. He is today's Wednesday's child. He's not verbal, but it does not take long to see how he is able to express himself and show love to the people around him. To be honest, it was hard to catch Dylan on video because this boy can move. Come on, this way. Dylan is 11 and living with intellectual and physical special needs. His nurse says that hasn't slowed him down. Yeah, he moves so fast and so quick. Gloria Onoye says Dylan is at the level of a two or three year old who needs supervision while exploring the world and loves repetition. Oh, good job. That's what he sees in doors because he knows doors opens and closes, opens and then lights switches on and off. He is nonverbal, but Onoye says Dylan can make himself clear. If he wants something, I can tell him say yes or no. With a shake of the head. You're not ready. Or a happy crinkle of the nose. If he loves you, you'll know. Oh, he's so sweet. Like, he gives the best hugs. Dylan has only known foster care in his young life and is now in his fifth home. They believe a forever family that can provide the health care he needs and some structure is where Dylan will further thrive. As long as they know the only time he'll slow down is for a hug. He's just a sweet child that needs love. If you give him love, that's all he needs. Really sweet. We want to thank Kid Mania in Plano for hosting us. We had a lot of fun. For more information about Dylan, please contact Laquina Warren at Child Protective Services. We included her direct email and phone number. It's on this story at WFAA.com slash Wednesday's Child. And we'll be right back. <laughs>